Now it's time to pay a tribute to some of the baddest chicks of all time. Each of them castrated a guy for one reason or another, making them the dick cutters. We're going to start at five and work our way down to number one. Number one being the baddest. We have Dawn O'Keefe from Teeth that came out in 2007. She was born with a rare disorder called Vagina Detenta, which means she has teeth in her JJ. And coincidentally, she's kind of a rape magnet. She's a young girl, but guys just want to put it in her. And when they do, it's not like sticking it in a girl's mouth and she might bite it up. It's like sticking your dick into a shark's mouth and instantly, and I don't even think she has control over it. I think she's just like, I don't want that in there. <laughs> Gone. The guy deserves it though, right? Pays the ultimate price. Counting down to number four, we have Beth Salinger, Hostel 2. Same year, 2007. Bad year for dicks. Hostel 2, I, in my opinion, is better than Hostel 1. Because in Hostel 1, I didn't care about the characters. It was like these douchebag backpackers that I just, I didn't care for them. They were just like, eh. But in this one, I cared about the characters more. And Beth turns out, she's got money and she's hardcore. Chops the guy's dick off. A dog picks it up in his mouth and takes it off running. While the guy who has been castrated sits horrified like, because it's like, it's gone. And he's, he's in no condition to chase that dog. Next, we have number three. Jamie Garrett from All Through the House, which I don't want to say too much. Came out in 2015, so it's kind of new. The newest movie on here. Um, she, well, on screen cuts off two. Dawn has the most. She had three. Jamie, Jamie has two on screen, but later on you see that she's got a bag of dicks, like a literal bag of dicks. But I don't want to go too much into her backstory because it's almost Christmas. You might want to check out this Christmas horror movie because it's actually pretty good. It's one of the best Christmas horror films I've seen. It's not the best, but it's up there. And it's, it's clever and fun and her dick cutting's almost humorous, but at the same time, not. But th there's a twist that I don't want to give away, so... Next, we got Estelle Collingwood, more like Cuttingwood, from Last House on the Left, the original, 1974, 72? I don't remember. Wes Craven film. It was redone. In the remake, there was no dick cut off. In the original, because the daughter, and in the original, the daughter dies. In the remake, she doesn't. The original, the daughter dies. So the mom gets one of the killers and seduces him and starts going down on him and bites it off and... <laughs> gone that's pretty hardcore especially because like she that's the farthest back we're going with dick cutting biting and so she's like the original and next we got at number one jennifer hills from i spit on your grave because jennifer hills was straight up just this regular chick she was a writer she went to a cabin she was working on her book she got terrorized by these guys at the gas station then they followed her and they raped her in the woods and then she got back home afterwards she crawled back home barely alive and they were there waiting for her they raped her again so she cut off one of the dicks it was like the last guy it was like the ringleader but she also did a bunch of fucked up shit and killed everybody else before that so it's the hierarchy. It's not like she chopped off five guys' dicks. She only got one dick, but she got a lot of casualties. She didn't take any shit. And dicks were hacked, making her kind of the original final girl because she was she started out as a girl who was not really capable of this sort of thing until those guys came in and turned her in to that wrecking machine. So that's my list. That's five. If you got... Maybe I left some off. Maybe the order isn't the order you think it is. I don't know. In the comments, you can say, I think this person was more of that is because of this. Let me know. If you got some I never heard of, if I get five more, I'll do another list because dick chopping's funny to me. <laughs>
Till next time, take care. If you like this video, hit like and subscribe and share. Visit my Facebook page and tour my website where you can scroll through my library of hundreds of written reviews.